My name is Maisha Griffin and I am a special education teacher here at Biloxi High School. I teach students with significant cognitive disabilities. What we did with our Biloxi First grant, which was graciously donated to us by w, Dr. W. Steve Siegel, uh, was we bought sensory um, equipment for some students with very severe significant cognitive disabilities. Um, what we bought for one particular student was a light board and it just turns on like this and it has three different settings and this is for a student that is not only visually impaired but he's also physically impaired and severely cognitively impaired. We use this light board and these, excuse me, geometric solids on his, on his, um, wheelchair to differentiate shapes between each other. So we'll ask the student to show us the cylinder or show us the, the um, hexagon and he will either motion or eye gaze toward that particular item. Um, also we have the pebbles that will discriminate um, colors for him and we have some silly shapes for him to um, use to show color and movement and touch and tactile uh, information. Now this particular um, this little gadget here is an activity center and it is also developed for students with visual impairment. Um, in particular it has these stations where if they push something that a particular thing happens and it shows them sensory involvement. So if they push this, the radio comes on and it stays on as long as they push it and it also has a tactile um, surface for them to use. Um, if they pull this little string, they get a, they get a fan. And so that actually shows that that's what happens when you pull the ball. This one vibrates very lowly. Um, so I will ask the student, um, where's the radio? Where's the radio? And um, she'll push the radio and, I'll, and if she likes the station, she'll hold it a little bit longer. So um, these are the things that I was able to purchase. And um, this will help me to actually gauge what they can learn, even though that they are very difficult to gauge their learning styles and with their disabilities. Thank you Biloxi First for making this possible. Hi, my name is Olivia Dunwoody and I'm the theater teacher and broadcasting instructor here at Biloxi High School. This year I was very fortunate to receive my second Biloxi First grant for Tribe TV, our news station here at Biloxi High School. Last year I received a grant that allowed us to get a new camera and a microphone. This year we expanded on that. We got another microphone for some of our other cameras that we had and two light boxes, as well as some SD cards and some media card readers for my students to be able to take their work home and be able to work at home instead of just in the classroom. We appreciate our Biloxi First grant that was funded this year by Michael Stewart, and we hope to be able to continue to partner with Biloxi First. Thank you Biloxi First for all that you do. My name is Stacy Butera and I teach 8th grade ELA at Biloxi Junior High School. I work with between 80 and 90 8th grade students every day and one of our challenges is always trying to find reading material that interests them and meets their level of rigor. We've been so fortunate to have Biloxi First Grants to be able to support that for us. Several years ago we got a grant and got some reading materials and then this year I did a grant that was funded by Grand Casino that gave me some nonfiction materials so that we can do literature circles in term three. And I found what I hope are some really interesting nonfiction books for the students. They're autobiographies. There are a lot of them have a World War II connection because that ties to our core text for this term. Or they have a sports connection again because that ties to our core text. Students did a book tasting where they got to sample the books, kind of like speed dating, but with a book. They got two minutes with each book and they could pick their favorites. And I tried to pair them up so that they were able to read one of their top three or four choices. The great thing was that I was able to take some books from a Biloxi First grant about three years ago and roll them into the project as well. So it's been really, really great for us over the years to be able to use the materials that we get from Biloxi First. We also did a team grant. This grant for the literature circles was an individual grant I did. We did a team grant that was funded by Sean McKean and that was for escape room materials because one of the other things that we found with eighth graders is that they love to get up and wander the room. So when we have a chance 
Usually about once a term, we try to find some skill-based activities that are tied to manipulatives so they have to wander the room and unlock one clue to make it to the next clue. They love competing for it and it just makes the same material presented in a different way a little more interesting. So again, we really appreciate all the materials we get from Biloxi First. Thank you, Biloxi First, for all you do for our district. My name is Bill Briscoe. I am the, currently the uh, president of the Biloxi First organization. Uh, this year, uh, we've just recently started our term, uh, I believe it was January, it was, uh, was December or January, uh, just recently. I've been on the, the board for Biloxi First now for two years. Um, it's been uh, very rewarding for me for a number of different reasons. One of them is because of the nature of where it came from and what Biloxi First does. Biloxi First started in 1989, 30 years ago. Uh, just over 30 years with $9,000 in their checking account and since that time uh, we have grown it to an endowment of over $900,000. Uh, what we do is we help raise money for uh, a named grant program, a teacher grant program uh, where it affords teachers the opportunity to apply for a myriad of different things that can help benefit the children in the classroom uh, from education from stimulation to a number of different things we have a uh, um, a very cool selection uh, sort of uh, uh, application committee where we, uh, all these applications are reviewed uh, this year we awarded I think it was 57 name grants for this past year uh, that funded 36 projects that totaled over $32,000. Um, so it was very rewarding to do that year over year to make an investment uh, into helping educate and better educate our students and helping those, those educators with that process. Um, I mentioned earlier that the, our endowment is now over $900,000, a long way that we came from $9,000. But as recent as last year, we were actually over a million dollars in our endowment, but we were able to, uh, had an opportunity to make an investment uh, outside of our grant applications, and um, we were able to buy, help uh, purchase these very cool Promethean boards that are going to be used all throughout uh, the Biloxi schools so that all the kids will be able to benefit from having these. We contributed $100,000 that the school district matched uh, to help uh, secure the funds to uh, be able to get these great Promethean boards. Through our name grant applications, um, the way that we're able to fund those is that anyone, an individual, an organization, a group, uh, can contribute $5,000 to the Biloxi First for which we will match $5,000 for a total investment of $10,000. And those $10,000 will be used to help fund these annual grant applications that we award. Um, these, uh, by, by the naming rights of them, uh, we also raise money through it through memberships, uh, through dues, and through our annual roast that we do every year. Those are our main fundraising events. If you would like to become more involved with Biloxi First, you can visit the school's website and visit the link for Biloxi First where you can reach out, whether if it's you want to learn more if you have some questions or if you'd like to discuss being able to contribute towards these name grant application funding process or any of our other uh, endeavors that we get into. You're welcome to visit there or call. Glad to get with you.